What up, G's? We're gonna talk about today a Precision 7520. It's a good gaming Dell system. I like it all around. It looks really tough. Um, I like it. The top of it, it's, it's all rubber piece. It's kind of like a like a corner. I don't know what you call this kind of material, but it's all rubber. It's like it's like silicone on the top, and it's it just feels like smooth. And it could take a couple beating scratches and stuff like that. In fact, I got a couple scratches. I can't even see them that well, unless I put them against the light. Right now, all you see is my 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 fingerprints. And let's open it up. See what else you get in here. I got a little dirty because I haven't undusted it, of course. Uh, full keyboard set. You get a full keyboard, ten keys. All right. For gaming, it's it's gonna be perfect. This gaming system. I'll put the specs on there. Right. Um, the glass, touch glass, Gorilla Glass. It's all dirty, like I said. It's all dirty. Dell glass camera built in under, in under the glass. So touch base, of course. Like the keyboards light up, of course. We're gonna open it up, and uh, and this is a, a Core i7. It's a V Pro seventh generation. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. See what you get when you buy some like this. So first, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the side controllers. If you guys see the side controller, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Here, we get a, a Type-C USB, we get an HDMI, a mini uh, display port, and a USB Type-3. So, and on top of it, this is an SD card connection. Basically, this is pretty much for like authentication, bit locker uh, keys and stuff like that. It's more for like government and it's just like a, instead of an, it's another type of encryption that you can use. Also, it does memory too. So it's like a similar, like an SD card, but it, this is meant more for more like a key encryption. So it's not that bad. Now let's flip it around in the back. Two large vents, of course, you know, the NIC card right here. We get the NIC card connection and we keep flipping it. Let's flip it this way. And they give you three more type, three more. They give you three more, three more USB and an audio and an SD card. And this, this right here alone is just to lock your computer down. And that's pretty much it. The front of the, the front of the computer, it has no latches or anything. It has lights. If you guys see the little lights on here, right here, the little lights, they turn on. One's for power, hard drive, and then the other one's a battery pretty much, all right? So let's go ahead and open it up. So first of all, flip it here. I don't really like to turn them on pretty much. You know, you guys know how to turn on the machine, how everything goes. So first of all, before we remove it, you, there's a lock mechanism here for the batteries. We want to make sure that we unlock the battery first, right? That's kind of important. So when you unlock it, you bring it down here and it, it's a cover. It's just a cover for the battery. That's pretty much what it is, all right? So we're gonna put that on the side. Battery wise, it's embedded in here. Um, you could release it with the, the same thing, release it, release it here. And this is pretty awesome. Look at the battery size. It's thin, thick on one side, and uh, very simple to latch out and remove. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and talk about a little bit more entries on, on what's in here, all right? So first of all, they give you a hard drive, a built-in hard drive, a mechanical drive. We're going to open it up so you guys can see. And it's very simple to take apart. I mean, it gives you some instructions how to what to pull out right now. We're going to go ahead and remove it. So show you guys what's updated, what you can do on this machine and update. And this one's very, very simple to actually take apart. So you take out those two screws here, this one, this one. And there's one more in here in the back you have to remove. Uh, I believe there's one more too in the back. So there's four screws all total uh, before you start pulling things apart. So if you see it right here, uh, let me move it more over here so you guys can see it. There we go. So I'm gonna remove four screws. One, one, two, three, and four. So once you release all four screws, you pretty much just pick up the latch and remove it. This is a cover to add another hard drive in here. Now on this one right here, you got an option to upgrade. This is a second hard drive, all right? Just to let you know, there's two hard drives in here. So this one will be your backup drive if you wanna hold your thing. Now there's two types of hard drive you could buy. You could buy a solid state hard drive, which is all memory based. You know, there's no moving components. It all fits in here perfectly. I'm just gonna open it up, see how it is inside. And pretty much you log it in here. This is your hard drive. This is a solid state hard drive that they, they, they have available. And it comes pretty much, it looks the same like a hard drive. You can't even tell the difference on it. Now, if you 
you do buy a mechanical drive, you probably get more space, but mechanical drive, it's there's more heat, there's more things to run on the system. I mean, there's more trouble of uh, failure on this one because if you drop it a couple times, the needle starts messing up the actual, it's like an old CD player, you know, pretty much this spins and it starts, and this fits in here perfectly. It's a SATA drive too. So, but this is a mechanical drive. So you have an option of doing a mechanical drive or doing a solid state hard drive. And, um, but, but the difference on these two things, the solid state hard drive costs a lot more money right now. They're still more expensive. You can probably get four or five terabytes for under 60 bucks. And you probably get like 500 gigs for like six, uh, almost a hundred bucks or 60 bucks depends too. So your difference is like size wise, you know, but working wise, this is a this is like five times faster than this, of course, you know, where we're talking about uh, digital format and less heat transfer and less things to drop, you know, so you drop it a couple times, nothing actually moves out of the place, you know, unless you drop water, moisture or heat, you know, but this one, basically you drop it a couple times, you're screwed. Okay, so there's two screws. There's one right here. And there's another one way out here that I didn't see it. I was like, where, why isn't this thing opening up? So, but I found out, I figured out. So here we go. We're going to unlock this, take this apart, put it there. And now it should open up. There we go. It opened up. Bam. There it is. Uh, the M.2 is located on this slot right here. And I'm just going to open it up. In, in, in fact, this is an M.2 right here. So I don't have to even open it up. It, there's a little snip cut right here in front of it, if you guys see it. So it basically locks in, pulls down, and there's thermal paste, the uh, thermal tape in here covering this stuff. That's why I don't want to open it up and, and mess this up. Now, this was upgraded. You, you go get a two terabytes, maybe four, you know, depends on the price. Uh, I haven't seen a four terabyte yet, but the two terabytes are out there right now. They're 120 bucks. Or two terabytes not bad and that's only from a certain brands so if you get higher brands like samson or anything higher it's going to cost you more money uh so upgrading to a two terabytes not a bad idea so you could buy the crucial crucial two terabytes hard drives that they sell uh it's for 120 to 30 dollars it depends on the price uh, on the market too and the therapists and all the stuff you know so limited time for 120 30 bucks if you see it maybe it might increase later down the line uh simple to use hard drive you know simple m.2 and there's two types of hard drives like i said there's a see that little snip cut right here there's an this is the m there's a there's a b plus m that means there's two snips on the other side and it that one's also compatible to this system but this is the m version the older version the new versions are coming out with a b plus m uh there's two different types on it so uh upgradable hard drive you could do that simple another thing is your memory memory wise um you do two slots only there's no more slots no more other than two slots this is it uh, these are all 16 to make the 32 gigs uh very very playable very easy to use uh, easy to install uh, on top of that they give you a wham connection here this is a great feature here is say you want to install a secondary hard um uh, gpu and you could have an independent gpu connect through this system through here ram card that you could replace your wireless card and you can see the antenna going all around in here where it's it kind of curls in uh battery simple battery you know easy to replace easy to install easy to remove love the battery all around i mean this battery is reliable dell makes good reliable batteries they get a third party to make the batteries but mostly they've been making their own too um bad things about the battery the third parties that sell the battery they sometimes use Toshiba batteries uh try to keep away from that stuff because um there's issues with it i had burnouts i had uh, bulkiness on it um which they kind of like tend to like uh, get fluffed and get a little swollen so be careful about that um these are flammable fragile um don't I haven't opened one of these exactly how the battery lineup is, but it's they're 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 everywhere pretty much. You can buy the same model on Amazon from third parties, and there's like seven or eight vendors that sell this battery. But like I said, keep away from the cheap version. BIT makes good batteries. They uh, they're located in California. I actually visit their facilities and love what they sell. BIT that's the name of it. It's a battery industry. I forgot the name of it, but 
they make great batteries out there i bought batteries in the past in the future and then i'm going to continue buying batteries from them they're pretty good so if you guys see that mark or brand i like it, recommend it um made in the usa brand you know they're here in in, um, in the state of california they're in the city of industry i believe they still are i hope they still do um other than that this part right here is it's the original part but this is replaceable easy to replace like i said they, they have batteries third parties that sell the batteries easy to replace hard drive if you want to extend it add more memory more hard drive to your system not memory but hard drive more space you can buy a mechanical drive which is a spindle drive like i said this is a 2.5 hard drive they're all sata connections all right make sure they're sata connection or if you want to go to the secondary and buy a solid state hard drive solid state hard drive no moving components uh less heat less heat to worry about less heat to over overheat the system um uh, but also you know they they're limited price too so for the price of, of uh, two terabytes you're probably not going to get the same thing two terabytes will cost you under 100 bucks uh, over two terabytes on this one will cost you over 300 bucks so price difference they might change since the last view and since the last videotape so just make sure that replaceable 2.3 hard drives easy to replace easy to replace SATA uh, battery wise and of course they give you the cover here for the existing battery this is from the cover for the actual hard drive so it pretty much basically just drops in there and ties in there um, this will not interfere with the battery. It stays in one area, of course, you know, so it will not interfere with the battery. I like this, you know, this is pretty much a very secure area. Um, fans, two fans, make sure you don't have anything covered in the back. Make sure airflow is coming in and out because airflow comes to the sides and in and out. Now this one has a great option because it has a type C connection. You could buy a separate slot box for a CPU, a GPU, I'm sorry. You could buy a 1080, 2080, whatever TI, video card, Nvidia, uh, RTX, whatever you want to buy, you buy the card and you could connect it through the USB type C or through the WAM connection. But the WAM connection, you're going to have to extend the cable out. And I could do a video on that, how to upgrade it if you want to. If you don't want to use the local internal video cards, you you have an option to use external video cards. And those are great options that we can do on the next video and do a video review on those cards and an inexpensive and expensive. Right? So that's on the next video we can do just for all you gamers that want to buy a cheap laptop. If you buy in the market or you find it in a yard sale and you find that it has a WAM slot connection or a type C, you're in luck for that because you could buy your video card separate and still play as a desktop gaming system. So that's another great option to have on this one. Of course, this one in particular is more for like a business type. It has three dimensional applications that you could work on this one and it could retain some of the stuff because of the Nvidia that it's currently houses in here. Uh, there's a docking station area too also. Uh, great features on it. I like, I like the docking station, especially the new versions. I don't really like this type right here because uh, this was a little fragile. People used to just pop them out without pushing the button. Used to bend the needles, bend the pins right here that didn't work at all, you know, and then you have issues. So the new version did, because this one has a type C, you're able just to connect the type C and ready to go. It plugs in your power, it plugs in your video, your monitors, your, your, your internet, and you're all set to go on the docking station. Now you could do another video on that too, on particular too. So there's a lot, hundreds of videos we could come on this. But I can't talk about this the whole day. We're just gonna talk about the internals of the good system if you buy this machine in particular. If not, I hope you enjoy your day. And I'm your host, Prophet74, and we are out. <laughs>